The scary magic tricks are the ones which generate the highest entertainment value. But sometimes, many of us believe it to be real rather than just an illusion. So, be it Aaron Crow's famous bow and arrow trick, or the sacred Rihanna climbing up the wall. Hello and welcome back, and today we are once again going to figure out the secrets behind the scariest magic tricks of all time. So, let's get started. The first trick, the bow and arrow trick. The first scary trick in our list is by none other than Aaron Crow, a very popular magician known for his dangerous acts. And here's what he did on America's Got Talent and many other shows which scared everyone around. By pointing laser light onto the judges panel, Aaron first calls upon two judges on stage to be his volunteers for the trick. He then asks Heidi, one of the judges, to take out her ring and be ready for his next move. Thereafter, he takes out an apple and using a knife, pierces it through its center. He puts Heidi's ring inside that apple and then closes it. Once the ring is secured, Aaron instructs the guest judge to stand behind Heidi. He also hands him a black wooden tray with a nail inserted on it. Now, as the guest judge stands behind Heidi, he holds a wooden tray on her head that is supporting the apple and the ring. Aaron then walks around the stage, reveals the target object, and takes out an arrow. He then points the bow and arrow with a laser light through the crowd, which invokes a lot of fear. Aaron then begins to spin in circles and, all of a sudden, he shoots the arrow, and what do we see? The apple is instantly cut in half. Not only did Aaron shoot the apple, the arrow even picked up a ring inside the apple on the way and landed on the target board. So, how did he do it? Well, to begin with, you should never try this sort of stuff at home or anywhere else. Now, coming to the secret, it's pretty obvious that no arrow was shot, and all you saw in the act was just an illusion. Also, why would the producers of the show put someone's lives at risk? So, from the pure perspective of entertainment and illusion, the producers of the show are told what the contestants are going to do before the act to make sure they have the dangerous stunts sorted out. Also, if you see carefully, it was not a continuous shot when the arrow was fired. It was like one frame the bow releases, one frame the apple is cut in half, and in one frame the arrow hits the target. This implies that at every stage, there's a mechanism which made this act possible. Now, as there was no arrow shot, how did the arrow end up on the target board? Well, both the bow and the arrow used for the act were gimmicked. Also, if you see here, the laser flashlight is coming out of the bow and is used for the purpose of aiming at the target, which the viewers thought so. However, its main purpose was to hide the secret hidden inside the bow. Yes, the secret lies in that bow, and also the arrowhead didn't go past beyond the bow and only the laser light went through. Also, this laser light created the illusion that the arrowhead was present there, and Aaron did shoot it when the light turned off. Now you'd ask, if there was no arrow shot, then what about this arrow? Where did it go? Well, as we said before, the arrow he picked up is a gimmick arrow, made up of a string with a feather at the end of it, to make it look like a real arrow. Also, hidden inside the handle of the bow is a cylindrical reel, and the string was connected onto that spring-loaded reel. And now you must have got it. When Aaron fires the shot, he releases the loose end of the string as it rolls into the hidden reel. But what about the arrow at the target board? Well, the arrow that appeared after the shot was already placed inside the leg of the target board all this while. It was hidden behind the black cloth using a spring mechanism. Here you can see that there's an opening in the cloth where the spring-loaded arrow was resting vertically against the board. Now, when triggered by a remote, the spring-loaded arrow pops out of the opening to its horizontal position. Also, notice the angular movement of the arrow when it vibrates after hitting the target. Now, this isn't the movement of the arrow hitting straight at the target. This confirms that the arrow popped out from the opening below. Also, the arrow at the target had Heidi's ring. Where did it come from? Is it a fake ring? No, it was Heidi's actual ring, as she would have easily noticed it if it was a fake one. Now, for this part, we also need to look at the apple. After Aaron pierces the apple, you can see he digs the apple in such a way that its one side hole is bigger than the other side. Now he puts the ring inside the smaller hole, which convinces everyone that the ring is placed tightly inside and cannot be taken out easily. 
But as you know, there's a bigger hole at the other end. And during this moment, when he covers the center portion of the apple, the ring is actually pushed out through the bigger hole, which he conceals using his right hand thumb. Also, when he is seen placing the apple, the ring is hidden in his left hand fist. Now you know it. The ring is in Aaron's hand, and during the moment when he adjusts the target board, he puts that ring over the arrow, with his hand hidden behind the board and concealed using a black cloth. But there's one question still unanswered. How did the apple split in pieces? Well, the tray on which the apple was placed had a built-in mechanism at its bottom. A spring-loaded knife was placed underneath which moved from left to right when triggered by a remote. Now, this made the apple to split perfectly in parts as the knife came out through the opening under the apple. And this is how the apple was cut in half. So, the whole act was perfectly synchronized using a button hidden inside the bow and was triggered by Aaron just at the right time, which made this awesome illusion possible. The second trick, the talking head illusion. If you want to scare your friends with some easy to do magic, then the talking head illusion is a perfect illusion for fun. In this trick, as you can see, the head of that child is on top of the table, while his lower body has totally disappeared. So, can you guess how it's done? Well, before revealing the secret, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of our new video uploads. Now, let's quickly get to the secret. The trick behind this scary illusion involves the concept of physics related to the properties of reflected light. Here, as you can see, her lower body is not visible. The explanation for this illusion is that two mirrors are positioned at right angles with their apex directly behind the table leg. Now, the left and right sided mirrors reflect the sides of the surrounding box and create a false back. The false background that the mirror reflects are placed on the left and right side of the table. Thus, the table appears to be open underneath. So, the girl inserts her head into the table and has her body extending downward from the tabletop. This girl in her kneel down position is concealed from the audience by two very clean glass mirrors placed at 90 degrees. The walls, floor, and the surrounding area in which the table is placed are covered with the same color pattern and materials. Now, the audience rarely notices the absence of a fourth leg, so the fourth leg won't be seen due to the mirrors hiding it, but the audience will see it as an optical illusion and assume that the fourth leg is behind one of the other legs. And this illusion is what makes the person's head float above the table. So finally, the last but one of the scariest tricks on our list, Scary Magician Climbs Up the Wall. We all know Sacred Rihanna for her bizarre tricks full of horror and drama. But here, we'll look at the way she finished off one of her performances on America's Got Talent. In one of her tricks, the creepy illusionist performed her act quite well, that is, up until the very end. As many of her look-alike characters walked on stage and began attacking her, Rihanna started reverse climbing the wall, as if she was possessed by a supernatural power, and desperately tried to escape. Then all of a sudden, the act cut to a commercial to the disappointment of everyone watching. Everyone was curious to know what exactly happened. To know that secret, here's how she climbed up the wall. Obviously, there's no way she would climb up 8 to 10 feet in the air without anyone's help. But as we can see, there's nothing around to help her. Now, this act was carried out using a mechanism used in an illusion where a magician magically floats in mid-air with no strings or ropes attached. So the secret here lies behind that wall. Yes, hidden behind the wall is a forklift operator which lifts Rihanna in the air. Also attached to the front of the forearm is a plate containing a powerful electromagnet. And now you must have guessed it. Rihanna is wearing a harness under her dress with a metal plate attached to it, at her back. So, when she positions herself at the right place, the arm comes out through the wall opening, as the electromagnet securely grabs hold of her metal plate at the back and slowly starts lifting her in air. All of this is hidden behind her to create the illusion of her climbing up the wall. So guys, hope you got the secrets behind some of the scariest magic tricks of all time. 